we have new details on the success of her of her weight loss. And here with that is Mara Scavacampo. Good morning, morning She's Mara. amazing. Yeah. Such an inspiration to us all, especially in the new year. Oprah's saying that for the first time, she's not on a diet. In fact, nothing is off limits. She allows herself everything from pasta to tequila. She says it works because she's changed her entire approach, not just to food, but to life. I'm Oprah Winfrey. She's long been known for her struggle with I weight. I can't lift it. It is amazing to me that I can't lift it, but I used to carry it around every day. But now, Oprah Winfrey says she's learned the keys, not just to losing pounds, but to gaining a fuller life. I love bread. I love bread. I now just manage it, so. I don't deny myself bread. I have bread every day. The media mogul sharing these lessons in Weight Watchers magazine and appearing on the cover for the first time. She's very open and she's very open about her journey on Weight Watchers. Since I started Weight Watchers, I've lost over 40 pounds. Winfrey, Honestly, who has now lost 42 pounds since starting the program, saying that setting a clear intention has been the key to her success this time around. Intention is the most powerful principle that rules my world. I do nothing without first thinking about why I'm doing it. What is the real motivation? Her intention, she says, is to live more fully. Now the focus of the Weight Watchers campaign Many and this new commercial. Bring on the food! We're having it all. When people struggle losing weight or trying to get healthier, if you have a clear intention, it actually really, really helps. The fullness of life, the fullness of being, the self-acceptance. I'd never done that before. I'd always beaten myself up because I was tied to a number. Aren't we glad we did it? Yes. We're doing it. But even Oprah has her setbacks, saying, at this point, I'm wise enough to know that there's no such thing as failure. It's all here to teach me. I don't look at this as a diet. I see it as a plan for life. Such an amazing perspective. Now, one step back that Oprah mentioned in the article, she says she went the entire summer without losing any weight at all, but she stuck through it. She also talks about the importance of putting yourself first. She says you have to make fitness and well-being a top priority, and especially a woman like mm -hmm. her is so busy, she says it's her top priority. And you've done the same thing with your book, Finspired. You yeah, talk about it in similar ways. A lot of the things that she's talked about are lessons that I had mm -hmm. to learn, too. You have to know why you're doing it. It has to be bigger than fitting into a pair of jeans. Yep, yep. it's all about intentions. And Dr. <laughs> so Jen Ashton, you want to talk to us about that more about intentions. It, it's the mind-body connection, yeah. right? And if you think about the definition of the word intention, it's to have a plan or a goal, in, in Oprah's case, a reason. If you put that with the five stages of change that we use in psychology and medicine, take a look at these stages. Pre-contemplation, that's not even on your radar yet. Contemplation is when you start to think about making this change. Then you go to preparation, action, and maintenance. You can actually see why having an intention would be part of all five five of these stages of change and very, very important when you're talking about making a, a big life change. And like this, this is your area of expertise. Yeah. You're, you're board certified in, in many of these areas. A, a lot of people want to know, keeping it off. It's one thing to lose it, but just but to keep that weight off. So there's good news and bad news here. Um, the good news is, is that significant weight loss is possible for a person, but there's no one right or wrong way to do it. So mm -hmm. everyone has to find their own way. The bad news is, and extensive data supports this, as soon as we start to lose weight, the brain releases signals to the rest of our body that fights to get us back up in many cases to our heaviest weight. It's called the set point theory. Wow. That is biology. It doesn't mean it's impossible, but it means it, it's difficult. So in obesity medicine now, the gold standard is really a three-tiered approach. It's to commit, as Mara said, to food and fitness. That is for everyone struggling with any weight loss issue. Medication, FDA approved weight loss medications will be appropriate when used properly for many. And then bariatric surgery reserved for a few this is the gold standard, but it's a long-term process here. And really, the key is recognizing it's not about a lack of willpower or commitment. So it isn't psychological? No, it's really not. I mean, yes, you have to put the mind-body connection into it, but so many people feel like failures because when they regain that weight, people look at them and say, well, you must not have willpower or you must not be dedicated or committed. We know oh, that's not true. Your metabolism has yeah. changed. It's yeah. that, exactly. How have you done it? How have you done you know, it? I think a lot of what you're saying is absolutely spot on and self-love is really important mm. because yeah. you have to accept yourself to make those changes. All 100%. Right. Thank you all very much.